Okay, we're going to work through um, this vector application worksheet. Um, we'll see how many videos it takes me to do it, but there are um, a total of five examples. And here we go. So the first one, it says, find the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector if V is 43 um, newtons at 75 degrees and U is 67 newtons at 40 degrees. Okay, so what I would do to begin with here is that we've got, so this is at 75 degrees, that one is V, and then we've got another one at 40 degrees, somewhere like this, not drawn to scale, I'm not overly concerned. This one is U, okay, and the magnitude of this one is 43, and the magnitude of this one is 67. And, um, okay, so we've got a few different options on how we can do this, but, and, well, what's going to happen is you're, you've got some object here, and you've got this force pulling it one way and force pulling it another way, and in a second we're going to look at, like, kids fighting over a toy or something like that. So it's going to, the resultant is, is going to do kind of something through here, um, and, and we're going to find that. The easiest way to do this problem is to convert both vectors to their component form and then add the components. Um, so if I um, use the precal notation vector v, the x value has, um, if you remember, if this is our, our magnitude is, so the magnitude of v, and this is the x, and this is the y, and this is our direction, then we know that, that x is going to come, and using x and v is going to use cosine. That, I didn't say that, Will, I'm sorry. Cosine of theta is equal to x over the magnitude of v. Therefore, that implies that x is equal to the magnitude of v times cosine of theta. So this first one right here, v had a magnitude and an angle. So this is its, its magnitude and this is its theta. So the, the x value is going to be 43 cosine of 75. And its y value is going to be 43, well, okay, we didn't talk about that part, but sine of theta would be equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, which would imply that y is equal to the magnitude of v times sine of theta. Okay, so um, this is sine of theta. Theta was 75 degrees. And then we have that u, similar idea, u ends up being 67 cosine 40, and then v or excuse me, the y value of u is 67 sine of 40. And so if we have these two things happening, we can add them together. The more work you show me, the, um, the, the more partial credit I can give you if you're wrong, and the more I know that you did it and not your neighbor. Um, so u plus v would be equal to 43 cosine of 75 plus 67 cosine of 40 for the x value. The y value is 43 sine of 75 plus 67 sine of 40. Okay, um, this is the component, this is the exact form of the component form, but notice they ask you to find the magnitude and direction. Okay, so one, this doesn't mean a whole lot to us just in general because there's all these cosines and sines, and, um, but second, we're not in the correct form of an answer. So I'm gonna grab my calculator. And I need to change it to, um, to degrees, so shift setup, I come down here um, to degrees. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to store, well, okay, I'm going to take 43 cosine of 75 plus 67 cosine of 40, and I'm going to store that answer as A. Okay, and maybe if it helps me, I can make a little note that this is, this is equal to A comma B. So now, um, I can write this down. This is going to be approximately equal to 62.454. Notice I had to round here. The calculator has not rounded, um, and the calculator has all of it. So A is going to be equal to all of the decimals, not rounded, and, and my value here is rounded. Then I'm going to come through, and um, it's the same thing, except now it has sign. I don't know if this makes life easier or not, just to type it in. But now I don't want to say that as A. I want to say that as B. So my B value was 84, I, yeah, I'm using B for the Y value, okay. Um, 84.602 is the approximation. And so now I have that this vector is going about 
62 units and then 84 units up. So it's doing something like this, where this is about 62 and this is about 84. But they didn't say find its components. They said find its magnitude and direction. So if you remember from before, we need to do um, the inverse. So theta would be equal to the inverse tangent of the um, of y over x. So and y we save we save that as b. So in my um, calculator, or I could say, okay, this is 84.602 divided by this, 62.454. And that would tell us now what. Um, so if I, let, let's do both really fast. Um, I'm going to say inverse tangent of B over A, because I'm too lazy to type it in. That gives me about, so theta is about 53.56 five degrees. Um, if I had done inverse tangent of what I had rounded, I think I'm going to be pretty close. Let's see if we're, if we rounded the same thing. 62.455. Oh, I did, I did that backwards. My bad. I put the X over Y. That's wrong. It's Y over X. I was just making sure you were paying attention. <laughs> right. Okay. So notice they, they round the same. They're not exactly the same, but when we're around to three sig figs, you're, you're fine. Um, then the other thing that we need to do is we need to find the magnitude. Well, to find the magnitude, we're, this is a nice little right triangle, so we're using Pythagorean theorem. So we know that the magnitude of our resultant, uh, the magnitude of u plus v, is equal to the square root of, well, a squared plus b squared that we got from before, these two things squared. So um, if you define them here, you can say this, or maybe if you want to show all your work, you should show me that it's 62.454 squared plus 84.602 squared. The advantage to storing it in your calculator is that you don't have to hang on to all those. So it's the square root of alpha a squared plus b squared. And we have a magnitude, the magnitude of u plus v is approximately 105.157 newtons. And that was our, uh, so there's, there's our final answer. Uh, that was already a seven minute video. I'm gonna make another one for number two.